This is the Griffin Realty Group podcast introductory episode. Are you a buyer, seller, or a real estate agent who has questions about buying and selling property, but you can't seem to find an easy way to get your answers? Well, hey, you're definitely in the right place. I'm Danny Griffin, the founder of the Griffin Realty Group and the host of this podcast. Now, to help you take immediate action to get started in the right direction, if you need to sell or buy property right now or in the near future, we've created free step-by-step guides for you, and they're sitting waiting for you over at Griffin courses.com. That's griffincourses.com. All right, let's get started. In this episode, what I want to do is just simply start with why I started the Griffin Realty Group podcast. I have another podcast that's a sister to this for real estate agents. And I found that there were a lot of buyers and sellers who had as many questions as agents did. So we'll, we'll take a different tact in this one where this is really hopefully going to be driven by questions from real buyers and sellers and wherever they may be. And so the first reason for starting this is number one, to fulfill our business model at the Griffin Realty Group to be people for others and serve beyond our physical boundaries. You know, one of the most frustrating things as a longtime real estate agent, broker, owner, and coach in this business is that you want to help as many people as possible. You have that desire when that's your motto to be a person for others to go beyond these physical boundaries. I grew up in the, the retail business and I always felt that I was bounded by the four walls and I don't want that to happen in real estate. The idea is that this whole idea of law of reciprocity, if you go out and help as many people as you can, you're certainly going to get more of what you want out of life. I just believe that that's true. So I want to break down the walls. I want to get it out there and nothing better than the advent of the digital age to help me do that. Let's get some answers from wherever you might be in the country. And again, I have a vast experience coaching agents from Canada to the United States and markets all the way across the country. Yes, there are some differences, but there is a lot of universality to the process and the strategies that are needed to be successful when you engage in one of the single largest financial and emotional transactions you'll probably ever make in a lifetime. And we want to be there as part of the, the, the body of work that helps you get the answers that you need in a timely manner. Number two, people are just to simply become afraid to ask for help. I see that all the time. Even in my kids, I'm the father of five kids, and I see that oftentimes they're afraid to ask, and I know what it is. It's the fear of embarrassment. That's one of the greatest fears in life is that, oh, I don't want to ask a stupid question. Well, let me just tell you something right here and right now. In this podcast, there is no such thing. In fact, what you'll notice over time is that the simplest questions are the best ones to ask right? All you intelligent uh, people out there that have these great educations and master's degrees and PhDs, I get it. I know that you're good at what you do, but there are simple questions that I know you want the answers to. Be humble enough to ask. We will never make you feel anything other than empowered by these answers. Simple questions are the best. And our philosophy here at the Griffin Realty Group is simpler is better. As long as we don't leave out critical parts when we simplify, by the way, this is an Einstein philosophy, right? To simple things. There's also a thing called Occam's razor that usually the simplest solution is the best. And in my experience in real estate, I find that to be true. So please be proactive. We'll set up ways that you can go online, leave your question for us so you don't have to ask. We might even feature you on the podcast. We'll play the question and we'll answer it publicly. So you have your own little podcast uh, episode that you can download and you have your answer for you. So we'd love to see it develop into that. But in the meantime, we're going to be proactive. We're not going to wait for questions. We're we're going to go into things that we know are frequently asked. People ask us all the time. They repeat themselves over and over. We love that. So we're going to deal with a lot of that here from the sell side to the buy side. And we'll get into some of the agent questions too, so that when you're trying to hire an agent, you get their perspective because it's a very, very key point in this business, right? The next point here is that A wise man once told me, you don't know what you don't know. And in real estate, that could really hurt you. Uh, There's so many, there's a pandemic in this industry of something called an expired listing, meaning people had the intent to move, put their property on the market, and it expired in a time frame that might be six months, 12 months, a longer, shorter, whatever it might be. It's just a problem. And it recurs year after year after year after year. And if you ask me, one of the major reasons why that happens is people don't ask enough questions. They sit back and then finally when the the urge to finally move is upon them and they're at a a 10 on a scale of 1 to 10, they just do it. 
and everybody's just doing something and there's no strategy and there's no organization and the questions are coming along during the process. Well, you know what that leads to a lot of failure and that's painful for me to sit by and witness that and I don't want to see it keep happening. So I want to help solve that problem. So remember, we don't know what we don't know. And I know a lot of you will say, well, I have bought and sold property before. I hear that all the time. I get it. I get it. But I've been involved in a lot of transactions. So even if you've been involved in a fistful um, or you're an investor, you still have curiosity. And if you don't, that's dangerous. When we believe that we know everything, that's ex precisely when our hubris comes back to haunt us and something goes awry. So remember, you don't know what you don't know. Hey, that's why I'm doing this podcast. I can't wait to hear some questions that you might stump me and you probably will. And I'm not afraid to say, hey, I don't know. But let me find a resource. That's a great question. Let's go out, be resourceful together, get the answer, memorialize it in this podcast, and then we all know. See, that's the fun part about learning, keeping that curiosity alive and well. And lastly here, I believe that real estate agency over a long period of time has gotten a bad rap because things do go wrong. And this is a huge emotional transaction if it's somebody's home, especially. This can make people downright crazy and, and really get them all stressed out. And, and that bugs me. I don't want to fix that. I want to at least put a dent in that. There's no reason for it. So I want the real estate agency business to have a better reputation and I want to be part of that movement. So I believe that by educating consumers, consumers can look back to us as an industry and be thankful that the, this new world that we live in of getting better information out there, organizing it into better strategies can be helpful. Okay. So again, why I started the Realty uh, Griffin Realty Group podcast Number one, I want to fulfill that business model to be a person for others and live it beyond our physical boundaries. Number two, because I know people are afraid to ask, so I'm going to start off by being proactive. Number three, you don't know what you don't know, and I don't want that to keep hurting us in the industry. And ultimately, number four, that's what I'm trying to do here. Just make real estate agency and the marketplace a better place for all of us. So to chunk this up in a key point here, we already know. That home buyers, sellers, and agents have plenty of questions, but are often afraid to ask. And here's why. Because they feel that by asking, then they're obligated to do something with that agency. Well, not here. You're free to ask away. So we want to be proactive and share with you the answers. We'll start it off this way with frequently asked questions that we receive. And hopefully, that will make you all more comfortable to ask us yours. Okay. And remember, you can take immediate action to get started in the right direction. If you need to sell or buy property right now or in the near future, you have to get ready. This shouldn't be a quick snap decision, like I said. So go over to griffincourses.com where you'll find all our free step-by-step -step guides for buyers, sellers, and even if you're an agent listening, we have one over there for you too. All right. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this podcast so that you don't miss out on any of the insights each time we upload an episode. I get it. Maybe this wouldn't be the type of thing that you listen to for a very long time, but in the heat of that moment, that decision-making process inside those 12 months where you're making this big decision, this stuff will matter for you. Okay. Make sure you use this stuff. All right. Also, we also uh, post all of our episodes on our social media channels. So, and I leave that open-ended because who knows what social media channel will pop up. So wherever you might be listening, we're going to get this out to you. So remember, turn on the notifications, especially places like YouTube and Facebook, so that when we post something that you see it, okay? So so turn them on for Griffin Realty Group. You can find, I know there's other people called Griffin Realty Group. We have a nice little gold logo with a shield around it. And if you see my face there, yeah, you're in the right place. Also, we'd appreciate it if you would share our content with other people just like you so that they get the help that they need and you can help me on this mission to become a person for others and get this information out there, okay? Hey, thanks for listening. Remember, nobody's coming for you. So go get to work on your own plan and ask your own questions. See you in the next episode.